What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for all things Marvel? Do you nerd? This is Tom and Lizzie, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding comic book tables, house Legos, and action figures, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom and Lizzie collecting right now. We're teeny tiny Marvel fans, just a little bit. Just, 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 small. just a bit. We, we like Batman, you know, and, and, and the like, so. That's not Marvel. Yeah, no, we, uh, <laughs> we're pretty big Marvel fans. In yes, fact, we are. you found an awesome service. I found service. the best service that I think they have ever come up with. It is Marvel Unlimited. It is either an app or online, and it is almost every single Marvel comic that has ever been printed. They are working every day at adding new comics. It is all digital, so you can take it with you. If you've got online, you have access to everything. If you go somewhere where you don't have internet, you can download some of the comics and read them offline. It's a monthly fee or a yearly fee. It's just super handy because you've got all these comics that you wanna read, but you don't wanna take up all the space, so you've got it all digitally. If you wanna take a trip, you don't wanna lug all your comics with you, you take the app with you on your phone or your iPad or your tablet or whatever, perfect. Marvel Unlimited has hit an amazing milestone this year. They have been able to upload 25,000 plus digital comics. That makes the subscription incredibly worth it. So what is that? Like the full run of uh, Fantastic Four and Avengers and that's it? <laughs> Come on! We just said this is serious! Oh yes. <laughs> You've also found that the app is really great for checking out some comics that maybe you don't want to start picking up exactly. the actual print ones. Yes. But as you read them, you think, oh, hey, I, I like this character. I like this story. I really like this. Now I'm going to go after, you know, either the single issues or the trades as those yes. come out. And there are still, no matter what, I will always collect certain titles. You know, I will always collect Spider-Gwen or Silk or Ghost Spider, as she's now called. It's a nice space saver. It's a money saver. And then you decide, like you said, I can go out and buy the real stuff if I want to. Now this box, you get this because... Because I have the Marvel Plus membership. Okay. So it is a little bit more expensive, not much, but every year on your, um, on your anniversary of your sign up, you get a box with exclusive comics with special covers that aren't available for anybody else. And typically there's either pins or an action figure or something a little fun extra for you. Well, I would like to start off and say, if the box is indicative of what's inside, I'm already a fan because I know. we've got some great X-Men love here. One of my favorites, you've got Phoenix over here, and then you got everybody's favorite, Wolverine. And then, was that, is that Storm? And then we've got Magneto over here on the side. All right, we have our Marvel Unlimited Plus family letter. We have House of X, issue one of six, with our special cover. Ooh, it's got Blink on the cover, one of my faves. Very nice. Something kind of neat is on the back of the comics, there's a special thank you mm -hmm. to select members. So you may just see your name on there. And I see my name on here. Nice. Look at that. On the back of She's this part of the Marvel board. Universe. I am. It's official. My name will forever be on a comic. This one's got some fun ones too. This is issue number two of six. And so we've got Beast and Jean Grey, uh, Wolverine and Magneto and Cyclops. I would like to note that that version of Wolverine is known as Weapon X from the Age of Apocalypse universe. One of my favorite storylines. So I'm very curious to uh, check out what he's doing there. Yeah, this is, it's gonna be a fun read. An added bonus to these comics that they sent is, check it out, the covers connect. I always love when the pictures make for a larger image like this. 
Now, obviously the art, the coloring in these looks absolutely fantastic. Very much looking forward to checking out the storylines. Something that I also really like is these are good, thick comics. They are. And they are not fluffed full of advertisements or anything. I mean, there's the occasional one, but honestly, it's not like the comics when I was growing up. Hello, little sea monkeys. He's back. Don't look at him, honey. Eat your potatoes. Where you would get like one page, two page, three pages of ads, one page, another page of ads. Check this out. I don't know who that is. I think that's the White Queen with the Phoenix Force. Was it? I don't know. It's cool. Let's see what else we've got in dish bags. We have a patch. Oh, a nice yellow and blue X-Men patch. Hey, you know what? If you're Scott Pilgrim, you can sew that on your jacket. Nice. And then we have a zoop, zoop, zoop. Oh, the Cyclops look, pin. Look at Cyclops. He's got that comic zart. We actually got to meet Cyclops. Didn't oh we? my gosh. And it was one of the most fun experiences ever because we were at Universal Studios in Islands of Adventure and we were taking a picture with him and he goes, all right, everybody, we all had sunglasses on. He had his visor on. He goes, all right, this is how we're going to take our picture. And we all put our little hands up like this and we took our picture because we were zapping things. He was fun. That's a good button too. That is. That looks really nice. A little bit of a raised bubble to it. And like a coating over the mm -hmm. artwork itself. Now, I'm not the biggest Cyclops fan, but that's a cute button and I like that button. <laughs> that is. Something that we always like to remind you nerdlings about is when it comes to pins and buttons, keep in mind, you don't always have to put them on your shirt or jacket. You know, they go great on bags. You can get just a piece of fabric to put them on. The more sturdy pins like this, sometimes we just press them right into a good wooden shelf just mm -hmm. to show them off. The action figure, pretty awesome. <laughs> Deadpool, and he's purple. <laughs> Why is he purple? I don't know. He likes it. Yeah, I guess so. So, Mr. Deadpool. No. Nah, just Deadpool. <laughs> just Deadpool, yeah. He is pretty cool. He's got quite a bit of arch articulation. His head moves up and down and side to side and all the way around like a good Deadpool does. Something is so terribly, terribly wrong. Oh. 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 oh God, that hurts. He moves at his shoulders. They're a little stiff at the moment. And then elbow, bicep rotation. His wrists move. at his waist he does some killer crunches and then twisty 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 then we have the hip joints that move then leg side to side movement triple jointed knee for the extra bendy positions ankles move up and down and side to side. When you want to crack and break your ankle. <laughs> Ow! Something that I noticed is he has a holster on his belt that is open for a gun, but he didn't come with a gun. But he did come with his swords. And on his ankle, he has a knife sheath, but there's no knife in it. I don't know if this action figure is actually missing them or if you can just buy additional weapons. accessories. Yeah. I see. Yeah, that is kind of curious. And then, of course, he has his famous katana blades that do come out. Your favorite. Oh, yeah. Always love when the weapons have a place to go on the characters. So swords going into sheaths, guns going into holsters. I'll take that all day long. Love it. I actually really do like the color. I, I like his purple color. Are you familiar enough to know if Deadpool does change colors at some point? I know he goes gray because I know like when he joined like X-Force, he was gray for a while. And did he have a blue suit like when he joined the X-Men? That yellow or the blue and gold, yeah. blue and yellow. And I've seen toys where there's like a pink, yellow, green, purple. High stars and horseshoes, clovers and blue moons. 
but I don't know if that was just for funsies or if like there was actually a comic where he like changed his suit. Or do you think he just washed his suit with the wrong oh, stuff? Oh, he threw it in with Gambit's <laughs> shirt. <laughs> ah, fortunately in the letter it answers that question. It says, join the Mercs for Money crew with an action figure of the regenerating degenerate Deadpool in his purple Terror Incorporated costume. Ooh, I'm going to have to look up this one because I really like this color purple. So uh, I think I got some new comics I need to go find. One last note I would like to make on the Deadpool figure is his hand. Pinkies out. Pinkies out! He does like to shoot his gun with his pinky out. I have noticed that. Something else that is really nice is on the bottom of his feet, he has the peg holes and in his back, he's got the peg holes. So if you have those dynamic stands oh, yes. that can like make him like, you know, come in or, you know, whatever. Even though this came in your name, I mean, literally like even the book has your name on it. It does. I'm very pleased with this because I love my X-Men stuff, so yes. I'm very excited to check out the storylines. The patch is great, the pin is really cool, and it's it's Deadpool. You can't go wrong with a Deadpool. How do you feel about your anniversary box? I am loving it. I mean, I've, I've enjoyed getting the figures every time, but this one, I feel like it's specifically for me. It does kind of yeah. feel that way. Yeah, because I mean, last time we got Venom Punisher, Venomized Punisher, and then the first time we got Tony Stark, so this time this is definitely me. Now, you said you do have to pay a little bit extra for this box. Mm -hmm. Going off of this box alone, you feeling it's worth that extra price? I do. I feel like it's worth the extra price because I'm pretty sure it's only like $20 extra. And most Marvel Legend figures are about 20 bucks. So I feel like it pays for, you know, the figure you get. All right. Well, there you have it, nerdlings. Just another yearly reminder to check out the Marvel Unlimited, the website, the app, you know, any way that you need to get your digital comic fix. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to go. She's she's putting me to shame with her Marvel knowledge. I used to know stuff, but now she knows it all. Well, it's so easy to just hop around. That's the thing that I love the most about it, is I can read something and be like, oh, that person's cool. I'm going to hop over and read this comic now. <laughs> And as you saw, you know, you uh, pay a little bit extra and you get that fun yearly box that celebrates your anniversary and all kinds of cool stuff. Make you an X-Man. Join the team, be an X-Man. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> so guys, leave some comments down below. Let us know if you're X-Men fans, if you're a Deadpool fan, if you've checked out Marvel Unlimited yourself. Are you on the back of one of these comics? Ooh, yeah. I'd like yeah, to let know. Us know. <laughs> Feel free to give the video a like if you happen to like it. Make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe because we're probably going to see you next year with another Unlimited box. And it'll be very cool to see who comes in that one. Spider Gwen? Fingers crossed. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on that retro refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it. Schnick. Sometimes for chimichangas. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's have that for dinner. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Snick, snick. Snick, 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 snick. Ooh. Snick, snick. Keep it up, and I'm going to sew his mouth shut. <gasps> oh, I wouldn't do that. We don't speak of that. Smile for the camera. Snick. Something neat to note is that Marvel Unlimited has hit 20. Marvel. His plastic. He's trying not to. It's not to? It's not to. Is on his belt, he does have a sheath open for a gun. But Stop. He... Okay. You want to call it a sheath or a holster? Holster, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>